Hi there, and today I'm going to talk to you about something that is incredibly underestimated in the world of self-development. It's an NLP term called a complex equivalence. So let me give you an example of a complex equivalence, and we're going to use the name Rob, for better or worse. So Rob says, I got so angry today at my boss because she set all my shit on fire and then tarred and feathered me afterwards. Now, you know, if you're Rob Spender and he comes and says that, you think, yeah, yeah, I could see how having all your shit set on fire and being tarred and feathered would make you angry. You know, I I'm with you on that. But the reality is, that's a complex equivalence. Rob thinks that there is a cause and effect, that having his shit set on fire and being tarred and feathered caused him to be angry. But it's not true. What really happens in that situation is we have a cause, interpretation, effect. So the cause was... Shit set on fire, tarred and feathered. The uh, interpretation by Rob was, that's not good. The effect was, I'm going to get angry about it. Okay. So you may think that that's a perfectly normal reaction. And it probably is a normal reaction. But here's, here's what could have happened. Let's take an extreme scenario just to demonstrate the point. Supposing Rob had been called into the CEO's office uh, prior to the, uh, to the event. And... Um, there was the CEO and the head of HR and they solemnly told him that they'd found out of a plot by his manager to set his shit on fire and tar and feather him. Now they offer Rob two options. Option one is they fire her on the spot and everything goes back to normal. They hire somebody else. Option number two is they allow Rob to film it for YouTube just for a bit of fun and see it go viral. He then gets her job he gets a million back dollar bonus for being a, a good sport. And uh, he gets a load of new shit to set on fire, should he wish. He may not want to set it on fire. Okay. So Rob pumps the air, says, yes, I'll take option number two, and leaves the office with a spring in his step and probably a little whistle on his lips as well. Now, when the tar and feathering and the shit setting on fire happens, the, the event is still the same. But Rob's reaction is different. Now you may think, yeah, yeah, well that's alright Tim, but that's just so extreme that that would never happen. And maybe it wouldn't. But even with small events, we, we create complex equivalences. And what complex equivalences do is abdicate our responsibility, abdicate our power and create a victim mindset. All people with a victim mindset use complex equivalences. So, for instance, you know, my husband said my cooking sucks, therefore I feel bad about it. It's like him saying that makes me feel that. Well, no, it doesn't. It's your interpretation. Oh, that may be your interpretation at an unconscious level. Remember, we're talking about rapid cognition. There's only a third of a second gap there. Maybe your internal um, interpretation is that you're not good enough. Maybe your internal um, interpretation is that he doesn't love me anymore or whatever. But it's still a complex equivalence. That doesn't mean that. Because somebody else could think, um, yeah, I know, my, I know my cooking sucks. It's not a big deal. It's not part of my identity. In fact, why don't you um, pay for me to um, have some cooking lessons, you selfish bastard, and then you'll have better food. You know, so, the, so there the person takes control of the situation. Their interpretation was he's just being a bit of an ass clown. And um, so be it. You know. So these are really important. If you think of situations where you feel bad, there will frequently be a complex equivalence. It will be the way you interpret. You have the ability to step back into that gap after the event and think, you know what? I'm going to feel differently about that. I'm not going to let what somebody else says make me feel bad. I'll decide whenever I want to feel bad. I'm not, saying, I'm not going to allow an external event affect my mood. Now, it's not always easy, and sometimes it's incredibly difficult, but it can be done. Let me take another extreme example. Look at the Dalai Lama. Um, he has his country, he's been exiled from his country since the 50s. Do you, do you ever see the guy when he's not smiling? No, of course not. He decides how he wants to feel about events, and that's taking back personal power. That's refusing to be a victim, and that's not employing complex equivalences. So go and give it a go. Go and try with it. Think about events and you will find plenty, trust me, and then you can go and change them and then in future you'll get used to changing them as they happen and that's the real key to it. But it takes practice. So go and practice now and stop staring at me. I've gone.
拜。